We are starting off the second quarter of the year with Michelle Schneider, the chief market strategist at Market Gauge. Mish, the stock market set so many records in the first quarter. What are your three pro points about this market? HYG would probably be at the top of the list. It's starting out the week under a lot of pressure after we made record highs in the market over the last several weeks, which means the second quarter may be starting out a little shakier. We have to keep an eye on that HYG to hold the 77 level. And the reason why is very simple. It's a risk on risk off barometer. If there is risk on, then junk bond traders will come in and buy junky companies that give high yield because they feel confident. If that confidence goes away, that's fair warning. My second would be MSFT, because in contrast to what the junk bond's doing, that is starting out with a couple of upgrades, 500, 550 by analysts. And yet it hasn't been able to get through really the 425 level, 425, 427. So at this point, if it's going to be truly one of the fab four, then we need to see Microsoft continue in the game. And then we can say that there's a rotation out of some areas, but certainly still tech is, is supreme with AI. And then the third one would really be the consumer. So the revenge spending that we've seen with even the numbers on PCE last week that came out that showed that consumers are still spending more than they're even making. We have to see XRT, our granny, stay in the game. And that means with this wonderful run that we've seen, it's got to get through this 80 level and then continue on up closer to 90. And if it breaks down under 75, I would think along with everything else, that would also be another fair warning. What's your trade of the day? Well, natural gas, which is uh, considering the oil market has done so well and is maintaining over 80 to $82 a barrel, natural gas has been beat up. And right now it looks like a multi-month consolidation if we look at the May futures contract and it starts to move higher than $2. Then I think we may have a very low risk opportunity to be seeing buyers coming in at that level and take it up maybe at least a dollar, maybe a couple of dollars from there. Thanks for your Trader Talk, Mish. Thank you so much. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.